Welcome to Hello Self. It's a podcast focused on turning your cans into cans and your dreams into plans. I am your host, coach, and author, Patricia Leonard. Well, good morning or good afternoon, whatever time it is that you're watching this podcast. Welcome to Hello Self. I'm your host, Patricia Leonard. And if you have been here before, you remember that our mission is to help you get your dreams off that someday shelf and to turn your can'ts into cans and start making plans for them to happen now. Today, I have decided that we're going to do the podcast a little different. I want to share something that I have learned myself, and I thought it might be helpful for others. I'm going to do a brief presentation today called Life as a Journey. And this is something that I've discovered recently, which I will share in the presentation in my own life. Because sometimes we get discouraged in where our life's going and we wonder, what's my purpose? What's my passion? Am I doing anything that's going to be exciting someday? Um, I'm just, seems like I'm just going from this thing to that thing and with no uh, vision, with no clear vision. So today I hope that this, um, presentation or little webinar, whatever you want to call it, that I've put together will help you as much as it has helped me. So let me go to that now and do a screen share with my PowerPoint presentation. And let's go through that because I think that will help get us started in where we want to go with this and getting across the idea that our life may be a series of events, but no clear vision. Okay, so here we go, starting with the presentation now. As you can see, I put this up here that life is a journey because I think sometimes we don't see our life as a journey. And I got this idea from uh, Seth Godin. When he said, do you see your life as a series of events or as a journey? So I asked myself that question. And that is exactly how I had been seeing it until one day, a hello self moment. I discovered, and I'll show you in the presentation how that happened. So let's look at how Seth Godin defines the difference between an event and a journey. So is he just asked, is our life a series of events or is it a journey that we have clearly laid out a vision for or a path toward or a plan toward? Because I think a lot of times we don't see it that way. At least I did not until this defining hello self moment. Seth Godin says that here's the way to look at the difference. A wedding is an event. A marriage is a journey. So you see the event happens and then it's expanding that event that he calls the journey. And that's really what life is about. It's about a series of events or it's about an event that takes us on another step in our journey of life. He said, the journey is more like this, another example. The week a book is published is an event, and we would all agree to that, while the creation, the publication, and lifespan of the ideas in the book are a journey. So the same thing, we decide to go to college, and all the things that come along with that as we take each of the steps, it is intended to take us on a journey toward our goals and vision. So it's the same thing 
but we often don't see it that way. And I'm going to explain my own wake up call, hello self moment. Without the connection of events, so a event happens, if we don't see it as part of a journey, we start living a series of events. Life becomes a series of events, starts and stops with highs and lows. So we get all worn out just creating another event and another event. It doesn't mean that you might not have events along the journey, but seeing it as a part of a journey is the key to fulfilled life. How can this view that you're seeing right here on the screen impact our motivation and leave us feeling feeling unfulfilled? So you see, if we've got an event, we're going to do this event, we're going to go over here, and then we're going to do this event, and then we're going to do this one. And if we're not seeing it as part of our journey, then it can leave us unfulfilled just creating another journey, create, I mean, creating another event. So in order to keep us happy, we'll come up with another event. And yet it doesn't seem like it's taking us any place. So what those events become are a lot of distractions and we keep pushing another event and really unless we see it as part of our journey, it's a distraction. In this fast-paced world of noise and distractions, we can get caught up in living for the next big thing. And that's what so many of us do. I have people coming to me for coaching sessions. And the one of the first things that I do is stop the process. Where are you right now? And what are you, what is your vision of where you're going? And most times individuals cannot tell me exactly, well, I'd like to do this, or I'd like to do that, or I've been wanting. No, wanting and liking are not taking action. They're only wishes. And wishes are nice to have for your birthday cake and blowing out candles. But what we want to do is start to see, and I have them start looking, let's define where you want to go. So one of the first things to not be taken in or seduced by the distractions or the noise out there, and I think, frankly, I think that's where we are as a society right now. We're a me too society. We don't have our own thoughts about our journey. We're just jumping on somebody else's and that becomes a distraction from our own journey a lot of times. So the me too is not connected to what I want to see my life being because it's just another distraction, but it keeps us busy for a little while and then we get tired and we get bored. So we can get caught up in all of that, failing to see our living as an ongoing journey of connections. So unless when we're making these, let's say the these me too's, how does that really fit in with where you want to go in your own life? Because I think that is so critical. And I think not every one of us get caught up in these things, me too. And I'm going to share with you my hello self moment. That is the reason I started this podcast in the first place is for us to stop and think about who am I? Where am I going? What are my passions? What is my purpose? And it is a time for us to stop. And this seeing life as a journey is part of those hello self moments. And the an event, I'm not saying that an event cannot be part of that, but it's critical that we see that event and how it fits in. Otherwise, we just keep using our time to be part of something else that we don't see. How many of us get caught up in, oh, would you want to go to this uh, event that's coming up? And we'll say yes, because we have no clarity about what it is we're really looking for in life. And I say that's what happens when we, 
we uh, try to find the tribe, the right tribe to fit in. And what I mean by that is people that are interested in going in the same direction we are or a very similar journey. They may want to write a book. They may want to put a podcast together. They may want to create a performing uh, journey for themselves. They may want to be a professor. They may want to be a parent. But all of that is looking at what are the things that I do toward moving toward that. And what we do is we let other people live our lives so often without coming up with our own definition of the journey we want to live. And I want to share now, I put this up on the screen. Hello Self is a book that I wrote uh, a year or so ago. And it's awakening to the knowing of who you are. And it's exactly where my podcast was born from. Because what I did in this book, and I have to tell you, I've told a lot of people this, it wasn't my specific plan. I kept asking my higher self, what is your purpose, Patricia? Who are you? Why did you come to planet Earth this lifetime? And one morning, about four o'clock in the morning, I was awakened. Now, I was still asleep, but it was like it was a real moment. And I heard this voice say, Patricia Leonard, just do hello self. I thought, what is hello self? I even asked, but the voice never responded. So I just started at, in the, when I was eating my breakfast, just started writing down hello self. And finally, it became a book. And that book is written like a movie screen. So it's written in a journey of a movie from scene one, scene two, scene three. And that's how it came together for me. So Hello Self is really a moment about our life as a journey when we can start to see the connections. and. That was only one step of it. Let me show you the next. So what happened after that, creating that and realizing that it was just another series of things that I had been doing just to write another book because I had written five books before that, a poetry book. But it was when this clicked, wearing high heels in a flip-flop world was a book that I wrote some time ago, five or something, 2011, something like that. But it all of a sudden clicked with me, Hello Self. And I thought that was a moment in my life where I started seeing a common theme. And let me show you. In that book, was about. it wasn't about high heels, even though I said, wearing high heels in a flip-flop world. It was really about seeing, getting out of our flip-flop life and seeing a higher perspective of who we were. So high heels became that higher perspective. So I had another waking moment in my journey based upon that, the hello self moment. And it was that I thought, what else can I do besides a podcast? And I thought, I'm going to do something with high heels. After all, it has been my brand for 30 years since I wrote the book and got my own trademark. So I started looking at all the things that I had done around this and everything. I had a one woman show called High Heels. It was about a woman in midlife who was, her life was not working for her. And she had always dreamed of going to Hollywood. And she got a date. Her friend fixed her up with a date after she had gone through a divorce. And it was all about her shopping and finding a pair of red high heels that shifted her life. And so I thought about high heels again. 
And then I created a career assessment for because I did coaching. So I created a career assessment that was, what kind of shoe are you? And then I would ask my client, whether it was a man or woman, what kind of shoe are you, first of all? Then I might say, well, where does your shoe hang out? What other kind of people does your shoe hang out with? Where does your shoe want to go next? What is your shoe's purpose? So I just ask a series of questions. If you get the drift there, I'm really trying to create a hello self moment in my client's mind. Out of that, I had this idea that I wanted to do more of these show kind of things from I hadn't performed for a while. But a friend asked me to do a spoken word at one of her events. And while I was doing that spoken word, it was like I had this flash. I want to do some kind of a cabaret. I want to do something like this. And so I came up with a idea and my friend from New York, I run it by her and she said, oh, no, that's not it. And I went back to the drawing board again, going back inside myself to try to find another hello self moment within me that might say, where do you go next with this, Patricia? And out of the clear blue, I began to see the pattern. My journey had been for almost 30 years, a brand of high heeled shoes. People would send me high heels on my LinkedIn. People would send me high heel gifts. My realtor, when I bought my house in Nashville, my realtor gave me a heel. She said, that's how I see you, Patricia. Everybody else got my drift of what my hello self was and what my journey was, but not me. But that moment when I was trying to come up with what my cabaret, I thought, Patricia, you've got this series of high heels that you could manifest as part of the cabaret because you've written all these books. You've got these assessment tools. You've done this in corporate America. I dressed up like a magician in corporate America and did a workshop on effective communication. And all we did was a show. We did not come up with a PowerPoint or flip charts or anything like that. We actually did a show and made that presentation to the others who were coming to the workshop. So I had been doing this for years, but had I seen my own journey? No. That's what happens to us. Just another thing we do, another thing we do, another thing we do. I had one female client who came to me and her children were grown and she wanted to get out in the business world now. And she said, but Patricia, all I've ever done is reared a family. And I said, oh, well, let's look at the journey, not the little things that, oh, well, I had this son and I went this and I did that. Let's find out what you did as a mother. Did you run a budget for the house and buy groceries and maybe get school clothes and school? Yes. I said, did you ever volunteer uh, in fundraisers for some of the sporting events or some of the events? Yes. Did you ever have a leadership role? Oh, yes, I was the president of PTO. Do you see what happened? There was a journey there of her becoming a professional person. So what we did is she said, well, what are we going to do with my resume? I said, we're going to put your um, experiences as a mother in this resume, we created the resume based upon 
her experiences in leadership, her experiences in fundraising, her experiences in budging. You get the picture now, don't you? And all of a sudden, do you think she got a job in marketing that she wanted in corporate America? Yes, she did. One thing is she was able to explain what she had been doing, and they were fascinated by it. If this woman can market herself like that, we've got all this stuff that we've brought along with us, but we don't think of it that way. Same thing happened to me. I didn't see all these high heels and everything that I had done with high heels as part of my journey and not just another thing. Oh, I had written poetry about high heels. I even wrote a song, High Heel Shoes. And then I wanted to record that song. My girlfriend said, I didn't know you sang. I don't. I want to record it. I went in the studio and recorded it. When I went there, they said, well, what key do you sing? And I said, I have no idea. <laughs> they said, don't worry, we'll help you. And then I decided I wanted to make a DVD of it. I put my request out on Craigslist and I made a DVD. Once we get focused and once we see the series of what we have done and start to see it as a journey, we can then start to do something in our life and get excited about our living. Looking at our living as a journey can reveal a vision of a purpose-filled life versus a series of starts and stops. That now, don't you? And I'm sure you're calculating in your own head, what have I done that has been a journey? As a matter of fact, now I want to ask you, do you see your life as a series of events or as a journey? Do you see it as a series of events or as a journey? And how can I help you build on it? Well, one thing is you can get my book, Hello Self, at Amazon. You can also listen to my podcast, Hello Self podcast. And we will have guests on here who give you tips and strategies about how they made their dreams come true. Now, let me get out of this podcast here. I mean, out of this PowerPoint and back to you. So there's all types of ways you could come on my Hello Self show and become a guest. Or you could set up a consultation with me. And my website is patricialenner.net. Pretty simple. And my email is patricia at patricialenner.net. But even just if you decide you don't want to do that, I just created Hello Self, I mean, High Heels Cabaret. So maybe you've decided you want to perform. Contact me about it may not be the career. Maybe you've decided I've wanted to do uh, a stand-up comedy skit all my life, and I've just been too afraid. My High Heels Cabaret has a mission of giving people an opportunity to create an expression in some art form of something they'd like to do. They don't have to have a, a song that has been number one. They don't have to have written a book. I remember I was doing an event, my one woman show, as a matter of fact, and it was for a senior group. And I remember after we got done, I liked to talk to the audience. And I, as they were applauding, I said, thank you so very much. And naturally, we did all our hugs and shake, handshakes and that. But afterwards, when we were all going our separate ways, a man, 74 years old, came up to me and said, Patricia, I am an excellent violin player. I would love to perform. There is a desire in every one of us to express something. 
And yet we never had the opportunity or we were too afraid to do it. We're in a society right now with the last two years and where we are in our transition as a universe. Individual souls are screaming, let me be who I'm supposed to be. Let me not be afraid. Let me step out there and just, and that's exactly what High Heels Cabaret is about, is you coming to me and you and I creating something, but you create it yourself. What do you want to do? It's what's the next thing on your journey that you want to do. And it does not have to be in corporate America. It does not have to be in whatever you've been doing your whole life. You can step out now and take a new path or create a new journey. And I think to me, that's the most soul pleasing event or moment that you'll do for yourself is to say, hello, self. I've wanted to do this my whole life, and High Heels Cabaret is my opportunity. Yes, it is. Hello Self is my podcast is another opportunity because I let you tell your story the way you want it. Of course, what we're trying to do is share with others how you came to that moment and why you're glad you did. I had one woman that I asked her, what was your hello self moment? And she said, I've been an engineer for 20 years. She said, one day I went to work and I said to myself, self, I'm not having any fun anymore. I said, what did you do? She said, I talked to my manager and said, I'm giving my two week notice today. I had a client recently that came to me. CPA. And she said, I'm just not happy with what I'm doing now. I want to do something different. We did the high heels assessment. (laughs) And anyway, I asked her, well, what do you want to do? And when are you going to quit this organization that you're working for? She said, well, I'd like to by the beginning of next year. I said, I didn't ask you what you'd like to. When are you going to? And that's the thing that we have to talk to ourselves about is we can like and want and have all those desires in ourselves, But until we take the first step, and let me tell you, I know about taking the first step. I told you that I've just created this high heels cabaret. <laughs> and so I'm, I took a step did a TV production of it, just a local. And and we're doing another one with an organization here in town. And thank goodness, I've got some people that said, Patricia, I want to do that with you. And so they volunteered. And just today, I had a meeting with somebody that said, I've got a venue I want to talk to you about. And I thought, Oh my gosh, this is another step in the real direction. I have to put my money where my mouth is because it's going to, I'm going to have to pay for this venue. I'm going to have to pay for my actors and performers and uh, raise money. And, and all of a sudden, all these fears came inside of me. But that's the reality of what, where we're tested. Is it what we are willing to do as part of our journey, or are we just willing to just let it be another series? Oh, I'll do this and I'll do that. No, I have decided, and I'm scared to, (laughs) and I'm not just saying this, I am really scared. And those of you who know me know that's true, but I'm scared to death. I don't have the money. But if we always wait till we've got the money and all we've perfected our performance and we've perfected everything and everything's in order, guess what? We won't do it. We'll look back one day and say, I wish I had. I don't want to leave this planet with a bunch of regrets. I'm going to try it even if I go down trying. But I don't think we will. 
I, I don't think you will. And I am here for you. Believe me. Anybody who knows me knows that I am here to help you think through the next steps and hold your hand if you want me to <laughs> while you take the next step. And I may be asking you to hold my hand, but I thought that this was something that's been on my heart for a long time. And it, it came to reality a month and a half ago when I decided that I'm going to do this High Heels Cabaret. And my friend from New York was encouraging. And everybody else that I said, I'm thinking about High Heels Cabaret. What do you think about that as my next big thing? <laughs> and uh, they said, oh my gosh, you've got a win there, Patricia. They convinced me and I'm taking the next step. So now I have to look out to the to where the money hits the road or the truth hits the road that yes, there will be somebody to help me along the way. And I have asked my higher power bring into my life, those people who can help me take the next step. And I promise that I will help others take the next step. So thank you for listening today. And I, if you're open to giving me a call or texting me, I will have my contact information on this podcast also. But I want you to seriously think about this is the perfect time. The universe is manifesting now. And there's going to be a lot of changes coming. Now's the time to plant the seed and next year to manifest it. So let me help you and help me <laughs> by just taking the next step and seeing where that takes us. And I'm telling you, taking the next step is scary. However, life requires us to move forward on faith. Faith is our God-given gift. And we have to trust and believe. And I'm telling you, I can vouch you will get signs of confirmation along the way. So just try it. So I just want to say thank you for listening today. I hope that this has given you some thoughts about how you can turn your cans into cans and your dreams into plans. And as I always say, as I sign off, keep dreaming. Thank you for joining Hello Self today and may it offer insights and inspire you to stay on your runway to success. Like, share, and subscribe. And remember this, keep dreaming.